welcome to my channel so i'm back with another video and hello my name is noemi just in case if you're new here welcome to my channel so here i tell all kinds of stories i do reviews and i do i do all kinds of stuff so if you're into that please stay and subscribe to my channel okay so i do have halloween special it is october girl it sneaked up on me literally October just came so quickly and I had to decorate poquito so it's not great it's not perfect but it's something it's a little bit of spookiness and yes I am going to be telling scary stories during this whole month after this month I will start my normal content and wedding content so just wait for that but for now i am going to do scary content scary stories and today's video is going to be a scary story this is my second time filming this the first time there was no audio so yeah girl i'm just trying to film this as quickly as i can so if i look like i'm tired i am porque ya lo hice film and i did my best and now it's gonna be crappy but i hope you guys still enjoy this story time this story time does have to do about dreams and what not to do in a dream so stay tuned for that but before I start, I am going to tell you I am dressed up. I am going to be dressing up during this month. And I don't know if you could guess it. I'm going to give you a little time. I will put a clip up here of my full, full costume because I am wearing some pants. <laughs> But I am Jackie from that 70s show. Um, it's very simple, but I do own all of this. So I was like, girl, she has an outfit similar. So I'm going to dress up like her in the first video. So I am going to be drinking throughout my video. I was already drinking. I'm almost done. I'm going to have a Cantaritos. This is pretty good. I really like these. If you're into like a soda, fruity type of alcohol, then you're going to like these. If you don't like that type of alcohol, then you're probably not going to like it, so don't try it. But I like it, so I'm going to be drinking one of these. So if you want to drink with me or anything you guys want, go get it and let's get started. Salud. So enough with my rambling and my talking. So let's start the scary story. So this story is about dreams. Let's talk a little bit about dreams. So I'm not an expert. Not an expert. I have talked about dreams before in my videos, but I do know that there's lucid dreaming, there's vivid dreaming. So there's different types of dreaming. Lucid dreaming is you know and you're aware that you're in a dream and you can control it. Vivid dreaming is you feel everything in your dream. So if you cut yourself, you feel it. If, if someone pulls your hair, you feel it. So that's vivid dreaming and lucid dreaming. And so... This specific, we're going to talk about lucid dreaming, and I have that. I lucid dream a lot, a lot. Um, I am aware that I'm dreaming most of the time, and I do control my dreams. And it's actually pretty cool, but that's a little fact about me. I do lucid dream a lot, and vivid dream as well. With that said, there is one specific rule and it's kind of unwritten but it is a rule and where if you lose a dream you're not supposed to tell the people if you know you're in a dream you're not supposed to tell the dream people that you know that this is a dream they don't like that if you tell them that the dream goes back it, it just turns evil that's just an unspoken rule when you lose a dream and girl i didn't know this i found out on tiktok and i was like huh i was like i don't believe it like no pasa nada right it was a girl me pasó a mi all right so let me tell you one night i you know fell asleep i have this dream that i get almost every night and this dream is about me going back to school. 
maybe because I really do want to go back to school, but I always have this specific dream almost all the time Pues, girl i was in this dream and i was dreaming that i was in school when all of a sudden everything around me kind of slowed down and it it was slow motion and it was kind of like if i was by myself something in my head told me you're in a dream when i realized that i was in a dream i've never done this before like i have realized that i was in a dream but i've never told anyone i just kind of start controlling everything but this time was kind of different because when i realized that i was in a dream i was like okay i'm gonna prove it so the way to prove it is to look at time in dreams time warps it's different so for example if you have a phone if you look at the time you put it down and then you look at, at it again it's gonna change it's not gonna be the same time so that's one way to prove that you're in a dream so that's exactly what i did in my dream and as soon as i looked at the time and realized that it warped I was like, girl, I'm in a dream. So as soon as I realized that, everything around me came back and whoop, everything was back to normal. And as soon as everything was back to normal, there was a guy passing me, like walking just by. And I kind of tapped him and I was like, hey, you, hey. He turns around and he's like, yes, can I help you? And I was like, hey, can I tell you something, girl? He answers me well yeah go ahead and i kind of stopped myself and i was like i'm not supposed to tell him so i tell him never mind i can't tell you and he kind of looks at me like all right you psycho um okay and he leaves right as soon as that happens i wake up and as i wake up i was like phew de la que me salve because at least i didn't tell him i am safe I am clear there is no evil dreams like i am good right so girl at this point you're telling yourself what's so scary about that right it's girl let me tell you when i woke up i went back to sleep and this is where things get interesting so let me just take another sip Salud. i went back to sleep when i went back to sleep there was no dream no soñé nada it was just pitch black but I was in that state and where I was conscious. My eyes were not open, but I was conscious. But I was still asleep. And it's a very weird state to be in. So yeah, it's a weird, weird state. And I was in that state and where I was conscious, but I was asleep. And all of a sudden, I feel and I see a black, dark, alien type of thing on top of me like literally squishing me like this and obviously i get scared but i can't move no puedo hacer nada no puedo gritar no puedo nada 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 and as soon as i feel that thing on top of me i if you guys see my videos again i start to sing there's a particular song i was raised religious so there's a particular song that i sing when i am scared and i start singing this song from the top of my lungs with my whole full chest me trying to sing this song because i am so scared because this thing is on top of me girl i can't sing it no Lo puedo gritar because that thing covered my mouth. So all I could do was hum as loud as I could and try to, I don't know, like ask God to help me and get this thing off of me. And I was trying so hard to scream this song. All I could do is hum it. And I was so scared, so scared out of my mind okay because this thing was on top of me y no se bajaba but then all of a sudden no sé qué pasó i woke up and as soon as i woke up girl you're gonna laugh at me there was a pillow on top of me okay that was alien and i just thought it was so funny that how our brains do that sometimes 
I don't know if it was just, if it was me, probably, you know, I just made up the alien on top of me. But I like to think that because I almost added out the dream people, the dream people was like, we're going to prank Noemi, right? We're going to prank her and we're going to make her think that there's a scary alien on top of her, right? <laughs> and then she's going to be super scared and she's not going to out us anymore. Like, that's what I want to think, all right? That's that's my thinking. I know it's ridiculous. Let me, let me dream. Let me dream, literally. But I just thought it was funny. I don't know if it correlates with the whole dreaming and me almost saying that i'm in a dream i don't think so maybe not maybe yes you never know but it was just kind of scary and kind of funny at the same time and it was i thought it was a cool story to start off this halloween special so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching my videos and of course i'm gonna have more halloween stories i'm gonna have a book review and i hope you guys are excited for that and after this after this month that's it i'm gonna start with my regular content and some wedding content as well so um thank you so much for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye girl